What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Feed Strategy. I am Pete. I am a top player in risk global domination. I have a daily release on YouTube. I'm doing weekday streams on Twitch and YouTube live for the winter. If you are interested in getting better at the game of risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Come along the ride with me. And for today's episode, it is my honor, my privilege to present the finals of the Risk World Championships Season 1 2023. Um, what can I tell you, folks? 1,000 players, more than 1,000 players fought their way to make it to the top of this players. pile, but only six remain. So we have our six finalists. I'm going to bring up a quick spreadsheet so you can see who is playing in the game today. Our six finalists, congratulations to each and every one of you guys. You guys worked so, so hard to make it here. We have EG Sneaks at 111 points, X Zombie at 95, One Shot at 85, Stay Facto at 83, General Baines 15708 at 82 points, and Saber 555 at 80 points, respectively. Congratulations, gentlemen. And it all comes down to this. We're going to be playing one game. For all the marbles, settings are Turkey, World Domination, Blizzards off, Fog off, Portals are stable, uh, Auto Placement, Progressive cards, so it's Progressive World Dom Final, Expert Bot, 60 Second Turns with No Alliances, Bot Behavior is Automated, and Balance Blitz Dice. Uh, we're going to move on into a VC now, and we will wish these guys... The best of luck. Come along with us, folks. So in which okay. VC is it? Uh, it's tour tournament VC. Uh, we're, we're going to tournament VC yeah. now. We're, we're okay. moving everybody now. The time is now. Yeah. All right. I'm going to hop up a little. All right. Me and Pete will begin our uh, our descent into madness here. Into madness escape. Into yes, madness. Sir. Yes. Go. Yes, sir. Yes. We're ready. The madness. My oh, co-host holding it down on Twitch. I'll be holding it down on YouTube. We have escape the 4Z. A uh, friend of mine and up. a very, very talented guy doing. Um, All right. Who's the bad cop, right? I get to be the good cop, yeah? Yeah, I'll find up being bad cop. So I, I, I didn't figure you would. <laughs> I didn't figure you would mind. Amazing. Yeah, I got you, bro. All right, where, yeah, are we good, where, are we where are we supposed to be, Escape? Uh, we are going to go into the tournament VC chat. We were getting a little bit of an uh, uh, idea of how the players are feeling just before the game has been starting. And I, I must say, everybody's excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. One, sh one shot's already calling it. He's already saying that he's going to win this because he's won all of his practice games. So oh we're my getting goodness. some smack talk early. So it's going to be... The confident, I love the confidence. You, you got to love to see it, especially in a game like this. You got to be confident to win these games, especially in progressive, playing up against the world's best right here. So that's Pretty that's that's the way it's got to be. Anyways, let's move to the tournament VC chat and we'll talk more while we're in there. Let us. And in case one is like, well, um, well, we're only gonna have one stream. Oh yeah, to, no, of course, just, of course. Do the do, yeah. do for the rules. Just yeah, yeah, yeah no, I got gotcha, you, I got gotcha, you, I got gotcha. you. 
Which one are we watching? uh, You you guys want to do one shots or uh, uh, do you want to do uh, Saber? I'm thinking we do um, uh, one shot here, right? It doesn't matter, (laughs) honey. Whatever one one has the better quality, just do that. Pete, you should be able to talk. Do you not have perms? I I am here. uh, Pete is getting his perms all set up, I believe. Yeah, it should be fixed now. It says I'm suppressed. I need to join and come back. Uh, uh, Drag Pete out and drag him back in. All right, Pete's got his... Uh, hello? Right. Hello, hello. Ah, here we are. Gentlemen. Here we go. Gentlemen. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the grand finals. We're here. We made it. We have made it. Ladies and gentlemen, the Kill Pete strategy and the bowl are going to be on the commentator's booth with us today. We are T-minus 10 minutes away from game time. Progressive Turkey is the map. That is going to be this grand finals map. And just to give you, uh, just to ask a quick question here, I guess since Kill Pete, you've been in this grand finals situation before. How hard is it to get to a grand finals in a tournament like this? Um, well, I would say this one is harder than ever. Um, so the the size of the tournament matters a lot for free for all. Um, mm-hmm. I consider anyone sitting in these seats to have. Um, both a ton of skill and a ton of luck. You can't really get there without both. So it's an mm-hmm. awesome, awesome achievement to see um, all six of these guys should should feel like champions already. Mm-hmm. And it's definitely a grind for sure. Like through every single round that we've been through, you know, Capitals, Con- Capitals Conquest, World Domination, all the different games that have gone on it is an absolute grind and and as you said it before these guys are champions just for sitting here and it, it is incredible to see the caliber of play that we're going to see here today in this grand final so talking about the map now right we got turkey progressive 60 second turn timer uh but we're gonna have stable portals in this grand finals game, which I think is going to make things even more dynamic and even more interesting when it comes to positioning in this game. So do, do tell us, uh, I'd say, uh, well, you can uh, uh, get your two cents in on this as well. What do the players got to do here to give themselves the best chance of winning this game? They can't cock it up. They, uh, you got to be sure on kills. I mean, and mm-hmm. it has to be worth it. I mean, if you go for a kill and mess up, it's just going to destroy the whole board. And then whoever goes next, that's a good shot at it. So be sure with it. Don't mess it up. I mean, it happens too often. I mean, mm-hmm. a few finals ago, we saw with 70%, we had to mess up getting the 70, and that changed everything. And then next thing we know, we had Pete win, which was awesome. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, we, all, we all remember that one with Pete's I, I remember that. celebration. <laughs> his cel- yep. His uh, growl, <laughs> yell, scream, whatever you want to call it. The celebration of a lifetime, that was for sure. I remember watching that, and uh, uh, I think that is... But we could say, like, someone just won the Super It's like winning the Super Bowl. Pete was like, he looked like he won the Super Bowl out there. It was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Pete, let's get your POV on this. So, these six players, we, we heard what Bull was saying. What, In your point of view, what do you think that the players got to do to win this game? Well, so it's progressive world dom, right? Um, mm-hmm. We assume that each all, all six of these guys know what they're doing. Um, and one of the funny, weird idiosyncrasies of, of our game is that when players are competing at the highest level, assuming the, the gap between the skill levels between any of these finalists is likely so uh, slim that the outcome will then swing around to being a lot more luck dependent, which I know bucks a lot of people's intuitions about how a tournament should be, and this particularly a tournament final should be. Um, so what we are going to likely see is we are going to likely see someone miss a crucial set on four and get eaten for their five cards. And that will be potentially the determinant of um, whether or not that or a number of players then fall like dominoes. Because in Progressive World Dom, it is a predatory mode. It is kill or be killed. And you really want to time your ability to make those kills um, such that you recoup the troops you invest in the kill in the cards in turn. And I figure these guys are each going to be in a number of positions, four or five potentially positions each. So those kills are going to be tricky and skillful. Mm-hmm. And as Bull said, if anyone 
cocks it up. If anyone makes a mistake of any kind, then it's a feed, and then the dominoes fall slightly differently. Mm. So definitely uh, positioning is definitely going to be key to get yourself set up for when someone either screws up on their lineup or, of course, just uh, getting them se- just getting yourself set up for when someone makes that big, crucial mistake. And I, th- I think that's what you're saying here, correct? That's the, the biggest thing? Mistake or bad luck, right? That's the only mm. way these, these games are going to end. Um, I don't... True. I don't think that, um, you never know if it will stalemate. There's always the possible. I don't think it will stalemate. Turkey is very mm-hmm. flat. Um, and by flat, I mean, there isn't a ton of texture. It wraps around on itself. Turkey is like a long cylinder. So the ends don't really wrap around themselves, but the tops uh, and the bottoms do. Um, so there's very little variability in the positioning on this map any one spot is almost as good as any other just about um mm-hmm. so yeah so then it really just comes down to that uh, that mind game right who wants to put themselves mm-hmm. in the right position and what is the right number of positions will will depend um in context mm. so, uh, definitely more positions gives you a greater chance at success Sure. Well, uh, what I find what I find is the heuristic I use with this sort of thing is the more mm-hmm. positions you have, the harder it is for you to be killed, but conversely, mm-hmm. the harder it is for you to make kills. Mm. Because the way you make kills in progressives, you want a couple of large stacks and you want to kind of hunt around and be the predator. But if everyone is doing mm-hmm. that, as I said, right, we assume everyone knows what they're doing. If everyone is doing that, then it becomes really tricky. Um, to maintain your kill lines, figure out who who you can get while also making sure that nobody can get you. Mm-hmm. Yes. That is very well explained. From I, I try. <laughs> well, I do. Well, you, I, you have done well with that. Humbly humbly <laughs> speaking, if I, if I know how to talk about anything, it would be Progressive World Dom. I've done this once or twice. <laughs> you've, been, you've been on this rodeo before. That's safe to say. With yes, a game sir. Like this. So with the, with the players that we have established, right? We have... Say we have Saber, One Shot, General Banes, Stay Facto, EG Sneaks, and of course Zombie with the X. Right? These are the six players that have made it to the grand finals. EG Sneaks dominated 111 points throughout this entire tournament. The next closest person was at 95 points, which was Zombie. Right? So, dominated. Do- it was like pure sho- right? shocking. I couldn't. I yes. couldn't handle. The level of domination from EG sneaks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it's 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 been incredible. And we take a look at these points that he scored, like with 111 points in six rounds, 21 points in the first round, 20 points in the second, three, uh, 18 in the third round, 20 in the fourth round, 15 or 14 points in the fifth round, and 18 points in the sixth round. 14 points is the least amount of points he scored throughout this entire tournament. Just six weeks of pure domination. How much advantage do you think? Or how much confidence is that going to give Sneaks going into a game like this? And of course, what what big advantage is Sneaks going to get out of this with all the points that he's got and just all the confidence he has right now? Uh, well, I don't I don't think EG Sneaks, from what I know of him, is a man lacking in confidence. So um, mm-hmm. that wouldn't he Sneaks is in my chat. He says I have zero percent confidence. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Well, we shall we shall see about that. And you know what? I think in these sorts of circumstances, it it doesn't really. I mean, nerves can get you. Don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. But the way I've always framed it is, you know, you, you made it here. Now what it is? You just got to win one game of risk, right? You just got to get it done. Uh, one game. Sneaks, you better get a trade on four. Yeah. Well, good luck. Right? <laughs> good luck. The thing. The, the, the thing that'll get you dead. Crucial. The thing that'll get you dead and progressive might get you dead. I'm already seeing someone saying, just give him third. <laughs> Nobody wants third at this stage. That's that's safe to say, JJ. Nobody just wants third. They want to win this damn thing. They want to be crowned a champion. There's no room for third place in times like this. That's that's safe to say. And we see that the players, again, themselves established. Four out of the six players are loaded in. And with two minutes left on the clock, it is time for your our predictions. Bull and Pete, who do you think is going to be the winner? of today's game who's gonna be a champion give us your pick oh, you, you just never know it could be anyone any any way it could go uh obviously we have one shot great play a zombie probably one of the 
person that practiced the most this tournament. I've seen him always in tournament chat. Saber, another great player. General Baines, I don't know too much about him. Uh, Stay facto, great player. He's been in a couple tournaments, I believe. Then uh, Sneaks, obviously, another great player. I don't know. Just I may just go with Baines. I mean, like I said, it could go anyone, but oh, just the Baines. Wild card. All right, the wild, all right. I mean, I don't I don't know much about Baines. I think this may be his first tournament. Not sure, but mm. I know I haven't heard much, so we'll go with them. All right, Pete, who's your pick, bud? Oh, I was yeah. hoping I was hoping Bull would put his foot in his mouth, but he definitely didn't. I'm certainly not. <laughs> I am certainly not going to be doing anything of the sort. Um, from what I know of. Uh, the players in this final that I have played with, they're all absolutely excellent top players and a win here will cement them as such. And for the players that I haven't had the uh, privilege to get a game in with yet, I hope to do so um, in the near term, but they're all, all I would say as likely to win as anyone else. I don't know anyone who is heads and shoulders above at least enough that you could make a confident prediction and say this guy is the favorite so sneaks did have a spectacular run is this where his luck runs out we shall see um one shot making um legends finals last season i think what he got second place overall just off of that coveted title saber big up and comer I know Zombie winning the other semi-finals name really awesome for him I don't know as Bull said I don't know General Baines as well um, and, uh, stay facto from, from Australia as well. I don't know that we've gotten a game in yet, but I look forward to playing with you too. So, um, really could go anyway. Mm. So you do not have a full scale pick here. You're, you're kind of undecided here then. I, uh, I don't presume to, so I'm not a gambler sneak. Uh, I'm not a gambler escape. I just, uh, mm. <laughs> I just enjoy the outcome for what it is. And, mm-hmm. I mean, when All you right, really well, when you really think about it, I I would say a tournament finalist of this caliber is already a winner, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. As you have stated uh, ten minutes before, and if I'm gonna throw in a pick myself, I think one shot gets it done today. Ah. I think he finally breaks through because, like, just just how consistent he's been, right? He's been in the grand finals in the th last three tournaments: the Risk Chaos tournament, the Legends tournament, and now this. I mean, the dude's got to break through at some point. And I think he's gonna fi He's finally got it figured out. I think this is going to be the day where One Shot wins this game. And I, I, he's just been absolutely incredible player to watch. Absolutely outstanding. Very patient. Very consistent. And when it comes to modes like this, this is his bread and butter. I think One Shot gets it done today. I think that's going to be it. Let's go. Uh, is, is this where your money's lying on uh, their escape? Yep, I think that's where my money's lying. However, the chat has the Twitch chat has different ideas. They got five thousand points on the EG Sneaks right now, and another thousand on Stay Facto. So yes, sir. Everybody's so. liking EG Sneaks right now. That's a pretty. I mean, that's a pretty good pick. They're pretty easy. Only verified player in this game right now with that chat mark. So he's looking pretty good, I must say. <laughs> he's looking good in Vegas with the betting. That's for sure. So. <laughs> This game is about to start in just a couple of minutes here. I think the players are just about ready here. It is two minutes past game time, but I'm sure that they're just going to start the game in just a few short moments. I anyway, might as well refill my cup before I get right back to the action. Oh, you yeah. better hurry up. You better One hurry shot's up. coming in like 30 up. seconds. Yep. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, yep. man. We got 26 <laughs> people in the Twitch chat. We also got plenty of people in Peach Stream as well. It is good to have every single one of you guys here. We got ourselves a super exciting game today. I hope you guys are hyped. This is going to be fun. And this is probably one of the largest commentating events I think I've done in quite some time. So this is going to be a fun one. And, Bull, I appreciate you being here with us as well. You'll be a, a lot of fun to have with us as well. And uh, we also want to give you a big thank you for organizing this tournament. I know you've put a lot of effort into this thing, and you've, uh, you've done a great job, Bull. So well, thank you, deserve, you. And, you know, th you, you, know, you thanks deserve for public respect for what you've put into this tournament. You put a lot of energy into this thing, and it shows. That's 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 without a question. So, everybody, make your picks known before this game starts. Make your picks. Who do you guys got winning this tournament? Who's going to win? Make your okay. picks. Yep, make the picks. So, yeah, sorry, I was a little distracted as I was oh. uh, typing. Oh, here we go. Here yeah, we go. And we are out. going in, folks. Good luck, good go. luck. Good luck to all of the players. In Thank you, the game. Mason Seven, Horn. Thank you, six, Clammed Up. Five, four, Appreciate you guys. Three, Thank you, Liberty two, Fires. One. Thank we you, Chad. 
Thank you, Marwan. Thank you, Daniel. You guys supporting me means so much to me. Thank you guys so much. Here we go. Zombie is going to be in the number one position, the orange player. He's got quite a bit of a split position here. Some guys in the southern Mediterranean, some guys in the west. Some portals are kind of scattered around in pretty much every single part of the map so far. And this, uh, this first couple turns here is going to be big here for all these players. It's going to be go time for these players to make it happen. This is the big game. Just a simple farm attack for Zombie, and he goes on to the next turn. The second player on the map, the green player, is, I believe, EG Sneaks. That is correct. And he is going to position in Southern Antolia and then put one in the Black Sea Coast, grab a card, and then he's probably just going to be coming to chill in uh, he's going to consolidate his stacks there there he goes and yeah. that is that so what is stay factor going to do stay factor is magenta i would move i would uh add to the two on the left hand side because you still have a lot of material on the right and maybe gravitate that to uh mm -hmm. to the north oh it looks like he's going to consolidate in the portal and he keeps position mm -hmm. in the middle yeah, these are, the portals are definitely going to be key in this game, uh, getting that control of those portals to give you the more opportunities to jump for those kills and give you the opportunity to have a little bit more map control, I'd say, when going for those portals. Looks like we're going to be seeing a, a five-ish position play for most of these guys. Mm, five, that's, that's big. That's my guess, right? Four or five. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Saber yeah, gets an easy like take so on the right-hand side and consolidates in the portal with a six stack. In the north. Mm. One shot's right, first Here comes turn. one shot. And this is a game where you're going for the win. There's no more placements. There's no more getting yourself into the next round. This is it. So each and every one of these players are going for the win. There's because, no questions asked now. Because one shot spawned with three portals. He actually has the opportunity to get a takeoff that two and, and potentially connect it either into... Um, this position in the bottom right or all the way to the right-hand side. Mm. Doesn't look like we that's see. the line. No, that, that might be the line he takes. Okay, he's going to guard the middle portal. That is a key position. I think spawning with that, that where he has his three stack in the middle, this mm. portal will be super impactful for the outcome of this game. And then what, he's going to move his four up to the three? No. And no, he's going to keep the split position. So we, we do see one shot in one, two, three, four, and five positions. Like you were talking about that. Yeah, that's what I'm play. that's what I'm thinking. Mm hmm So Think it looks like right now one shot's giving himself great opportunities to give himself any direction he wants to go. He can Give himself that opportunity to jump from one part of the map to the other. And, of course, he lines himself up very good if he can maintain this position. However, a player could exploit that and maybe knock out one of his smaller stacks in a different position. That's so something I don't, that one shot's got to be careful of. I don't like Baines's first turn. I don't think you want to keep these two stacks at all. And I don't like how his positioning looks like he has two, two main positions. He's got the five and the six, and he's a ton of material mm -hmm. in one section. So if I was Baines, particularly um, towards the end of the game, or uh, towards the beginning of the game, I would have focused on this two in the north and added some material up there. Mm-hmm. All right, zombie he's second himself turn. a harder of a chance to get killed, too, because you see that he's got the six on the bottom of uh, southern Antolia there, and then in the west in the Aegean, right? He's got the six and the five split, and you can see everybody else is much more split up on the map, where blue is a lot more consolidated. And in progressive, consolidation's not really going to work out. You make yourself an easier target to get killed. Sneaks controlling that bottom left portal I like a lot. Sneaks is already in four main positions, and it looks like he will stay with those. I don't think he's going to add to his one um, towards the uh, towards Istanbul in the top left. For stay facto second turn, yes. Quick play right there. Do we Going see the, the consolidation? Do we see the size of the stack in the bottom right? Is that a three? That is a three. Okay, so stay facto is now in four places. Almost five mm -hmm. if you count the top. Those string of singles. 
Yeah, I like what Saber is doing. So Saber is spreading himself out, right? What I like to do um, in this map, so it doesn't have true corners, but you kind of want to gravitate towards the edges if mm -hmm. you can, and then move towards the middle again when you can make kills. If you can swoop in from the outside to make kills when the time is right. And we're hoping to see that happen on the seventh or eighth turn. This is now the end of the second. Um, mm -hmm. usually the most profitable moment for Prague World Arm kills is in the second sequence. The second sequence of trades, correct? That's right. Mm -hmm. And it makes the most sense because everybody goes through the rotation where in progressive cards you get, you know, it starts with four, then six, then eight, then 10, then 12 and 15. By the second rotation, it then gets to 18, 20, 25, 30, so on and so forth. And that gives a player a significant jump in troops that could give them the opportunity to go for a kill if someone has like, you know, 30 or 40 troops less than them. And that's something that we're going to keep an eye out for with these players. Exactly. There's there's a sweet spot escape with progressive where um, the mm -hmm. trades end up being worth essentially the entire amount of a player's troop count. Um, and if you can chain kills in that sweet spot, you can really... Um, well, you can sweep the board, potentially, if you path everything out properly. Mm -hmm. And one thing I want to note here, uh, you were talking about Blue's position being very poor to start out this, right? And he went through his second turn, right? And he's put himself in basically two positions. He's got a nine stack and the six stack, right? The nine stack in Southern Antolia and the six stack in the West, right? And I honestly think that Blue has put himself, considering that he was in the greatest opportunity to split himself up more where you get the extra bonus troops when you're at the bottom of the turn order, right? I think that Blue has fumbled a very good opportunity for him to give himself more positions. And now he's just kind of stuck in two positions right now. And at most, I think he's only going to have three positions at most. Yeah, it's a risky play. I'm, I'm not going to sit here and say it's objectively right or objectively wrong. The upside, as I was hinting at earlier, Escape, is if you do have uh, fewer large positions... As long as you can make kills with them, you're in fine shape. But it is mm -hmm. very much uh, an aggressive style and um, mm -hmm. as opposed to a defensive style of progressive world dawn. But I notice he's not really lined up to get a full kill on everybody because everybody's so split up and he, he's going to have to just – he's going to basically rely on those two spots to try to get good lines. Yeah. Um, well, exactly, tournament. right? Not... You're you're in a tournament final where, where a thousand players fought their way up to top six. You're not going to assume – at least I wouldn't. You're not just going to assume that people are going to make mistakes. Ooh, interesting move. We see one shot add an additional position. So I think one shot is now in six places if I'm not wrong. Doing the complete opposite of what Blue is doing right now. He's going for a but, full split. But that's super cool to see creative... Um, Play style. Cr creative alternatives to how people are mm -hmm. playing. If you guys look at one shot's positioning, he's got two fours, two fives, two threes. That's a six position play. Let's and see if it Blue, works he out. Does go, Blue does go last in turn order, so that may, uh, may hurt him, may affect him. You're, you're, you're saying uh, Blue might get eaten before he has a, the chance to pay off those large stacks? Possibly, I mean. Yeah. It may happen. I mean, two positions, true. only the 11 and 7. I mean, Yeah, I it looks it looks quite fragile. Uh-huh. You might even say a little risky. Well, part <laughs> of the game. I mean, and think about, I mean, as you said, a thousand people, you got down to the final six. The nerves, as you know, you've been in the finals. I have. You have those. Oh, yeah. It's just unreal. I mean. You ain't thinking straight half the time. So <laughs> def definitely affects the play. At least for me, it did. I would I would say it's very similar to like, uh, you see like a lot of land tournaments going on. Like you get land jitters, right? It's actually a term that's been used in a lot of esports, right? Where people like in, in like a big giant stage, people just get nervous and they and they jitter a lot. They get, a, they get a little nervous and you see a lot of them play a lot more conservative compared to super aggressive because they don't want to mess up, right? So that's... Uh, Something I think we're experiencing here on a little bit less of a degree than like maybe like a, a LAN event for an esports, but like very similar, I'd say. Well, I'll tell mm -hmm. you, the last last season's finals was Progressive World Dom. And my mm -hmm. thinking for it was exactly this, right? Maintain four plus maybe five positions and mm -hmm. just play it very tight. Don't let anyone have solid lines on me and hope to get a little lucky with the cards. And I didn't, but... I'd much rather lose 
to bad luck in that circumstance than kind of what Escape was hinting at, than to lose because I um, made a miscalculation, overextended, and then took accidentally took someone down with me in the finals. I would hate that more. You know, if mm -hmm. if if a tournament run ends because you don't get a set on four, shrug. That's the way she goes. I mm -hmm. personally that I prefer it that way. That's definitely a very fair outlook to look at it because I've been on both fronts of that too, where I've made that big mistake where it was a world championship around four game. I accident, I tried to calculate a kill and I messed up on it. And I even apologized to the guy afterwards. I, I, I screwed up, you know, it was, it's, it's mistakes like that, that often, you know, it often triggers someone too, because it's like something that's either out of your control, but not really luck based. It's just, you know, someone else's Ooh. decision making. Ooh. Ooh, consolidation from Sabre yeah i North. didn't i didn't see that coming so he's gone from five to four he's gone from mm -hmm. five to four positions just like and that i i too. wonder if it's yeah i wonder if that was the right move so saber sitting in i don't love how close the eight and the six are to each other but that eight being on mm -hmm. a portal makes it a ton more mobile mm-hmm mm -hmm. and as we were talking about before the portals are definitely going to be key like you see a lot of the uh, a lot of the players are holding those key portals that could get them to jump around the map. And maybe he's thinking to jump around and maybe snipe somebody in the later game here or stop himself from getting sniped. That's a possibility. Yeah, there's always a road to expanding to an additional position. Also, Saber is being allowed to hold 13 territories. So it kind of behooves all these guys to hit him twice so that he doesn't get an extra troop. And I think we just saw one shot take a joker. Did I miss that? I believe he did get a wild card out of that. I'm not okay, too sure well that see. that yeah. is extremely impactful because if you can if you can get your first setup, we're gonna see, I doubt we're gonna see these guys skip. I would be shocked, just like I was last season, that anyone would skip in the finals. Um, but if we don't, we're going to see the trading sequence go um, the standard prog. Right, zombie's gonna get the four, sneaks gets the six, stay facto gets the eight, saber gets the ten, one shot gets the twelve, and general banes will get the fifteen. All other things being equal, but if one shot has a joker and he doesn't have to use it in the first trade, that means he'll have a guaranteed twenty or potentially. 25, 30, 35, maybe even a 40 trade if he needs it, if everyone else trades ahead of him in the second sequence. Yeah, yeah I was thinking that gives him a huge advantage going into the second sequence as well. That's going to be something that we got to keep an eye out for, for sure. One shot might be the one that makes, the, like, especially with the split up positions that he has right now, he gives himself a great opportunity to line himself up to get an early kill here if he goes for the second sequence trade like right away, especially if he gets the trade up on three. I think one shot's going to be in a really good position to potentially be the first one to make some noise. Yeah. I, I think he got an infantry. I don't think it was a wild. I may have just missed all, though. Uh, Stonebridge uh, did send me a DM. Uh, one of the staff members here, he helped me a lot with the tournament. He pointed out Prayer Corner, which is uh, the bottom right. It is now four. four is. Yes, it's now it's four. It's four. He said that everyone there, everyone who owns that position always wins. So, I don't know, just something to keep an eye on. Pink. Yeah, Maybe everyone one. pay attention here. So you see how Stay Facto is holding. It's hard to see the number. It's a four stack in the bottom right, currently guarded by a Sneaks 7 and a Zombie 4. Those would be the only players that would have a line to kill Stay Facto without moving through mm -hmm. that additional an additional stack of their opponents. Mm, yeah. Similar situation uh, happens in the top right with Zombies 3, only accessible through a Sneaks 8 and a stay facto for. That's the top yep. left, by the way, Pete. Yeah. So you're thinking in Istanbul. Istanbul. If I'm not yes, yes. Istanbul is Constantinople. Yes, yes. Okay. So one shot just moved off the portal there. I don't know. Maybe he's yeah, he afraid. He moved off the middle uh, portal. Yeah, he had to control yeah. that portal this whole time. He's making his move. Interesting move from him to see where he's trying to position in, uh, I believe that's Central Antolia, that like I, bonus area. You'll notice that not a lot of people go for bonuses in a <laughs> game like this. Not on Turkey. Not on Turkey. No, not on Turkey, no. All right. And, and the sets the first trade. come in. I wouldn't want to be on that four trade, but maybe uh, Zombie as a player leans aggressive, so he's hoping to get an early trade in the second sequence. So Zombie's on six positions right now. Actually, wait, one, two, three, four, five. He's on seven positions, actually. That's something that uh, I, I just noticed now. He's got 
seven positions in all corners of the map here, including what you were talking about before, blocking in that that board trade. And we could see a very aggressive play from Zombie for potentially a kill here where he, he, he's he got a lot of choices on where he wants to really plop those troops. It was an infantry. So it was an yeah. infantry. For yeah, one it's shot. not a one. Ah, okay, okay. okay. Ah, okay. So one shot's going to have to just wait for the three trade like normal. All right, wild. sneak sets and gets a six. Get to reinforce that gate there that's also being held with orange. I like the four strong positions. I think if I, I think if I was playing this, I would lean to five. But four seems like a fine number if they're far enough away from themselves. Also, Sneak's doing it asymmetrically. Sneak's having two strong ends and two weaker middles. Mm. I think this would be the point in the game you, where you would want to be off the portals because you would want to use them as roads to make your kills. You'd want to add the portals into your kill lines. I, and this is why I think people are intentionally not knocking Sneak's out of these two portals on the right-hand side. That, Im that immobilizes his 12 a lot. And I also noticed with Sneaks, too, I didn't mean to interrupt you there. No, no, I apologize. No, no, no. Not at all. Uh, the Sneaks' 10 stack, right, is completely on the right side, is completely surrounded by the yellow 5, the red 5, and the orange 4, right? So we we, we were talking about how the purple, on the, the purple stack on the bottom right is being trapped in by green and orange, but green is also trapped on all five sides. So... If Sneaks wants to use that stack, he would only be potentially using that stack if he was going potentially for a kill on somebody or to break out of that surrounded position. And that's something that, um, you like you've been talking about, we don't want to be in positions where our stacks are trapped or we're forced to hit stacks that we don't want to hit. And that's, that's going to be something that Sneaks is going to have to keep an eye out for in terms of development for this game. But it looks like Yell does move off, though. Oh, never mind. He goes but right you back. see what I mean? And he doesn't want to sit there. He wants other people to be able to use these portals, and he wants to be able to attack through it as well. So we now mm. see Saber in three positions, or sorry, in four positions. He's maintained, Saber has four symmetrical positions, an 11, two tens, and an eight. And one shot is doing a similar thing, but keeping six spots. I like more positions um, with... With five opponents that we assume are great, I would prioritize not dying over being able to make kills personally. And and I know a lot of people think of me as a fairly aggressive player. We also see one shot have a set on three. We see him have a set on three. Okay. He's got it. Without the wild too. He did so, without the wild. So now what he's going to be doing in his head is he's going to be pathing out, who can I kill with these with this 20 set? And maybe it's not a 20, right? Maybe the time it trades in, it's a 25 or a 30. We see the final small trade go in. General Baines now has a third position. I love it. That's right? Big, that's the big. whole time playing it like it's two positions, all of a sudden has a third. Completely changes everyone's um, kill lines on him so that they have to recalculate. Yeah, that's definitely big. And they're pretty big stacks, too. He's got the three largest stack, some of the largest stacks in the game right now compared to where everybody else is at. Well... Everybody's going for the wider splits. He's going for building them tall, like tall skyscrapers, right? So he's he's going to be looking for potentially that that trade up, like that one shot has, and maybe he's thinking he might go aggressive and get a kill here with that twenty stack, and he's right on top of that portal too. So he has an opportunity with the portal to make something happen as well. He might have he has an all right line actually on, uh, I'd say. Uh, uh, are a pretty decent line on orange and maybe yellow, especially if he gets that, that extra trade in, if blue gets the extra trade in and yellow does not, I think blue will have a decent line on yellow as well. I really like, um, zombies four sandwich between the 10 and the 13 on the left hand side. Mm -hmm. I think that is going to keep zombie alive because only mm -hmm. green and yellow can make that kill. Also, I think if nobody trades before one shot, I don't think one shot takes the 20. I think he um, might hold it and hope to make a kill um, because if he trades it in next turn, he'll be holding just enough to kill a player on four cards and set in turn, and that would be a profitable move. 
Let's see if, right, sa so if Saber sets. Saber. 49 troops on the field. If I, was sa if I was Saber, I would actually open a fifth position here. I would attack the Magenta 1 in the bottom middle. But Saber would rather have larger stacks. Yeah, I think he's worried about blue potentially with those big boy stacks there. I think he's starting to get a little worried there. Yeah, blue has okay lines to make kills off of those three big positions. But if blue doesn't have cards, he's sunk. So let's see. Do we see mm -hmm. one-shot trade is set on three? My guess is no. He's thinking about it, though. He's taking an awfully long time here to think about he, it. And uh, oh, 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 he was teasing us there. He was teasing us there. He got me. He got me. Good. <laughs> I really like One Shot's game so far. One Shot's playing this so good. He's playing yeah, this so well. I like it a lot. Oh, he's been through half his turn already. He's still thinking about what to do. I don't think he goes for the trade up here at this point. I think he's going to. Just sit back and wait for the trade up to increase in value, like we've been like you've been talking about, Pete. So I'm thinking that he just goes for the farm play, and then goes right back into the fortification mode, which is exactly what he is going to do. There he goes, and that's that. No trade up from the one shot. Let's see what Baines does here. Okay, so this is the end of the seventh turn. Mm. With no uh, second sequence trades yet, the trades are currently at 20. Do we see Zombie set on four? If he doesn't, he might be in trouble. Then again, he's got a pretty safe guard. Okay, Zombie does take the 20 trade. Good play, so, good stuff. This is where the game gets spicy, folks. Mm-hmm. I think EG Sneaks, honestly, is uh, going to be getting himself in a lot of trouble if he does not set in himself. Yeah. Anyone to... at this stage not setting is going to likely become the fish. Mm-hmm. Because you, don't, you do not want to be on five cards at this stage of the game when trade-ups are 20-plus at this point. So we'll have to see what EG Sneaks does here. 41 troops on the field and four cards and five positions now? Yeah, he's got five positions now. Okay, yeah, Sneaks doesn't trade. Ooh, Sneaks doesn't right. trade. Sneaks will be holding five cards. Who has lines? Um, one shot can get him. One shot can kill Sneaks. Yeah, and take, he definitely uh, could. I think Sneaks is in trouble. I think if if nobody sets before one shot, one shot takes the bounty on Sneaks. <laughs> yeah, and Sneaks is by far the weakest. Okay, stay facto going to do facto. it. Does Stay Facto have lines? See, he gets the 10 next to the 6 there. Yeah. He the, is reinforcing the, the bottom The 10 right and the well. bottom can move into uh, just 15 defending. off He's the defending. portal. Let's see where he goes. He's defending. And he, I think he's going for it. Yeah, he's going to go 19 for 15. it. 19 15! He's going for the bounty on Sneaks! He gets it! And he's Stay Facto him. gets... Mm. No. Ooh. Oh, there's a... Oh, oh. The, the, oh wait, Facto's got to yeah, go across the map to get it. He's got a portal, gonna, though. He's going to yeah, use he's the portal. have enough unless six. he gets a bad dice. There and we go. We see the first him. bounty. Stay Facto go. gets the kill on EG Sneaks. And Sixth place. Ten, six cards. I think Very he was... Nice. I think he forgot about the six in the middle there for a second. <laughs> yeah. And luckily for Stay Facto, the portal was on the Istanbul side there, so he was able to jump that portal and get to the middle there. Any other situation without those portals, Stay Facto would have failed that kill. But great awareness coming in from Stay Facto to understand that that portal was there. And he's given himself a pretty good, uh, pretty good lead here. 80 troops on the field and three cards. He's looking pretty good now. He has okay lines to kill another player next turn unless Saber sets and makes a kill on one shot or Ooh. General Baines. Ooh. Can Saber do it? 14v10. That's a lot of positions for Old one V8. shot, though. Can he get them all? He's going to have to. This is this is Saber's last chance. Let's see if he can pull off a kill here. Is he lining it up on one shot? One shot say, says, oops. Says, don't kill yeah, me. He's going for one shot. All right. Such in trouble here. There we go. Saber set, uh, sets gets the kills. 10, 9, 8, 7v5. Loses. Can he get through a portal? He can get through a portal. 
He has I think he has it. You want to kill the 10? What? And then... Where is he? Oh, he's just going to walk around. He's just oh, going to go... Walk. Okay, okay. Yes. Ah, okay, and the okay. Uh, he's, he's quick. He's quick. He gets it. Saber yeah, gets one shot he... and sets. Ah, there it is. All right. There it we is. We are now top four. One shot finishes fifth place. One shot is out. My pick has been eliminated. This that, will trigger a set. Saber and Stay Fatu. Can Saber make the kill on uh, General Baines here? Looks like he's, he's lining up for trying. It. The time. I don't think he has the time. Yeah, time is running out for yeah, Saber you gotta move. to get this kill. He's going to have to be fast, but I no, do not he also he doesn't have it. the troops. Oh, he's softening. No, he's. He, he softened Baines there. Baines is definitely right. not going to be happy about that one. That's for sure. But well, Baines, Baines sets, he it on 40, does gets it. the 45. Now we're talking. A <laughs> bloodbath, yeah, folks. Here we go. Four players remaining with the elimination of sneaks and one shot here. General Baines gets saved by the trade. He definitely would have been the fish if he was uh, did not trade up there. That's for sure. But now has 94 troops on the field. It looks like he's going to be on a four position play now. He expands his positions yet again and hits Orange's four in the Mediterranean there. I believe that's the Hate tile, if I'm not mistaken. As General yeah. Baines is going to be sweeping across the map here, going into the middle in central Antolia. And I believe hmm. he's just going to be sitting right in that middle position there. I think that's where he's going to settle. I think Zombie's so sitting on two going. cards here. Um, yeah. leave, leave Zombie in a great spot to finish second, but I don't think he can impactfully get a finish. So his future hinges around on what Stay Facto and Saber do, do and whether or not either Stay Facto or Saber have cards. Yeah, and, and Stay Facto has a pretty good chance of getting cards here too. And especially with the trade-ups, I believe trade-ups are now, what, a 30, if I'm not mistaken? It's higher than that. It's higher than that, yeah. No, that's, yeah, it's thirty. It's thirty, forty plus at this point. So I think yeah, the set is. I think the set the is fifty at the moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we saw zombie. Um, let's see, zombie got the four there. He's gonna take the hit there. He's not gonna do no no card stuff. He's gonna risk it. See what happens. Stay facto. <laughs> Hop it on board him. Four cards. All right. Do Doesn't we see trade a trade? Up. If we don't have a trade on five here for Stay Facto, Saber can get a lucky set on three and clean up this. Oh no, Stay no Facto going to be Stay Facto going to be okay. So if you're Stay Facto here, what you do is you hit Saber hard because he might have a set on three. In which case, this game is over. No, he does not. Saber no, sets on oh. three. Saber, Saber sets, sets on three. three. He's going to kill Stay Facto and win this tournament. Oh, oh no, I think Stay we Facto, see it. A huge blunder. Huge blunder from de facto there. I oh, mean, I no, it, is... as I always say, right? Not having a set on four might just be the thing that gets you done. GG de facto finishing fourth place. Saber's going to take him out. And that's five more cards coming in for Saber here. He wins the four on one. Which is the good game. The 12 with no losses. Always nice it's to see people be in good out. sport. Yes, sir. I'm really yeah, proud of the risk community. Oh, oh tight line for Sabres. Got to get a bit lucky. No. Got to get a bit lucky. You go up in your oh, manual you the 13. You got to try. The whole tournament hinges on this. Get get lucky. Oh, this is spicy, oh, folks. This is two. spicy, folks. <laughs> oh, 9v10. Oh, let's one. go. He has to hit it. He has to hit it. Blitz it. Oh. Oh. oh, and he runs out of time. And he runs out of time. Oh, feeds the kill of General Baines. General Baines wins this tournament. Oh General my Baines. God! Where, what are we doing? Where is General Baines going? He's going with the Don't, forty-one, no. sweeping the map. As Saber has screwed up this kill here and is getting hit absolutely hard from General Baines here. Absolutely big blunder from Saber. Took too much time, diddle daddling there on that manual slow roll there, but he did manage to get that roll, but just missed out on the one. And General Baines looks like he's going to be sweeping the map. Fourteen troops on the field. Unbelievable. And by and he's going to get this kill here. He's just about to get it. Fourth he's place gonna... is Stay Facto. Killed by General Baines. And I'm pretty sure General Baines yeah, gets General the Baines rest gets of wow. the kills. Wow. Incredible. Wow, indeed, man. Absolutely incredible work here. I picked it. I picked General it. Baines. I knew it. <laughs> Bull knew it all along, folks. <laughs> I knew it. So now it's who does he give second worry. to? No. He he takes out he takes out Zombie because that Zombie triggers a trade. Mm -hmm. 
Zombie gets yeah, third I mean, place overall. Congratulations to Zombie, third place. Congratulations to Saber, second place overall. And most congratulations to our new world champion. Oh, tell me he doesn't wow. mess that up. Seven General before. Bain. Tell me, <laughs> greedy. He likes those greedy rolls. Congratulations to our new world champion, folks, General Baines. Wow. Let's go. Absolutely incredible performance. We were criticizing General Bane earlier in the game for having the not the most amount of uh, splits here. He focused I on loved, the tall. I loved the like one thing out. he did. The one thing he did was on his first trade where he put an he he basically built an entire third position out of nothing. I think that was necessary to not get eaten, and it worked out. There wow. you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Good we have game. a new we have a new yeah. world champion in General Baines. Congratulations. I believe that's his first world championship as well. And he was the guy that we were all talking about, the underdog. I believe that was Bull who picked General Baines. That, that was. He's looking pretty good. <laughs> pretty good yeah, pick there, my, I must say. Well chat's done. going off. So Saber unlucky. Too bad for Saber. Saber just missed uh, missed that click by uh, by a split second. Just missed that click to he roll did. the 3v1. It was just It was just a clock issue. And you know what, man? When the pressure's on like this, you can only imagine how you would have played it in, in that seat. Wow. Well done, and, everyone. And, that, that, and that's all it takes is one click, guys. That's all it takes is mm -hmm. missing that one click is Sabre could have won that tournament with that one extra click. Unreal. That was that's it. how and close General it comes. Baines, General yep. Baines has taken full advantage of that. And what a great game we've seen. This was an absolutely fantastic game. Fantastic skill from all these players. Congratulations to every single one of them. And congratulations to our new world champion, General Baines. If General Baines is in here, I think we got to get an interview from uh, Mr. Baines I'm, here. I'm, I'm giving all the finalist uh, poems to speak, so if any finalist wants to come. Amazing. Yeah, we got we to get some speeches here. They can say some words. I would love time. to hear what everyone has to say about that game of risk. Mm-hmm. So we'll have to... We'll get words from, uh, I believe, One Shot as well. We'll give us uh, a little bit of a, a post-game talk here as well as uh, some others. But uh, wherever General Bane is at, he's probably screaming and celebrating his ass off, man. Oh, he's yeah, I him, would man. be. I would be for sure. <laughs> just like you did just like you did a year ago, bro. <laughs> you have to. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't think there's anything um, – impolite or unsporting about showing a little bit of emotion in these types when you work so hard at something you know and as i said right it takes a ton of skill and a ton of luck to get there um mm -hmm. so you might as well savor the moment mm -hmm. amen to that That's hello sure. gentlemen hello, hello. One hello. Shot. that's one shot correct there he that is. is one shot indeed one shot Absolutely. one shot losing on the turn order of all things, hey, uh, eh? <laughs> I could have set on free. Yeah, I, I saw not to. Yeah, because I decided if you set on free, you play for second or third. You don't play for the win. And if you're if you're in the tourney, you play for the win. If mm -hmm. uh, Pink hadn't got the sneaks kill, the sneaks kills what I was setting up for the uh, the whole time. Yeah, but Pink got there first. So I I, yeah. I saw I saw what you did. I would have done pretty much exactly what you did. Mm -hmm. And it's it's just too bad that um, someone got you before you got them in this case, right? Well done, yeah, sir. Yeah, look, the nature of the setting is it was a hell of a tournament. Uh, thanks to Bull for organizing and all the event helpers. That's right. Um, thank you, Bull. Well, thank you. I mean, obviously, you guys for playing, participating, Pete, uh, Escape, everyone else, uh, you know, promoting, making videos, and getting the mm -hmm. people in the seats. Can't do it without you. I just want to say sorry uh... to one shot that I was the one that killed you. <laughs> like, I hope that spamming oops would dissuade you, but it absolutely did not. You know, it would not. Had me. I was, it, I was planning because you were after me in, on the turn order. So, would you have four cards? You'd go for uh, it. yeah, yeah. It was one hundred percent correct move to kill me. I was just, I was hoping, I was hoping to manipulate you through emotes. <laughs> Man, I feel That's like cool. I really lost this game. Yeah, well, uh, Saber, man, you got as close as they can get without getting it, huh? No, you got I, the. I you even center. had, Saber, even had the. Di I know you press like center, it. right? And it just why isn't it going? <laughs> Sorry, yeah. man. Yeah. I can only imagine, right? By the by, the tightest time margin possible, the difference between the, well, first and second. I my troops because the fifteen was connected to the route I took, so I didn't. I could have. I think I could have used the fifteen. That I didn't use. So, but that's 
hindsight thinking. It is. So uh, one one quick thing is General Bane's here. General Bane, you here? Yeah, I'm here. Dude, General Bane, congratulations! You are you're a world champion. The new how do you feel right now? world give, give championship. Give us give us, a, give us a, a sit rep here. How are you feeling right now? Oh, wonderful, <laughs> especially since my son told me right before we started that I had no chance. Of winning. <laughs> <laughs> what does he know? Oh, your son. Your son He's had like, no faith in you. That's crazy. He doubted you, but you 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 proved your son wrong right there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting you to say that. <laughs> so so question place, question for you, Baines. Question for you, sir. The the bluff of the two position play pivot to three position. Was that your plan all along? Uh not really. I I also was uh, kind of eyeing up the sneak skill if that hadn't been taken prior. So I was kind of lining up a little bit on each of those areas. So you were actually trying to play it to position? Um, I didn't really have a preference. I, I mean, I've done a bunch of practice games. And so two position, three position didn't really make much difference, I found. Um, it I, I, Honestly, I was worried because I was really killable there for mm. not not that i was killable but my positions were not good either way i was close to portals for all my positions i didn't have like everyone else was hiding in that corner <laughs> together just in a huddled mass so um i mean i was nervous there but because i was last and getting the biggest sets i wasn't too worried and my troop count was the highest so i didn't think anybody was going to be going for me first i think it was 50 50 um who went for, for me or you. I think we were both four cards in equal troops, and I think the Saber had a slightly better line on me. But it was I think he could have gone either. I think he had more troops, and also, because I because you were after me, I all, I, all the game I planned for it. Like, so I had a clear vision of how to take you out, and I, I, I didn't have exact clear vision on him. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fair, that's fair. But then you know, it was just it was just a gift that that win was a gift at the end. No, there. you gave me second. <laughs> it's okay. There was the place. <laughs> so we say that Saber suicided into uh, into the person who failed to kill, and uh, you rewarded the suicide. Yeah, that's how, uh, I mean, that's how we play it. You got second out of it. I mean, that's no small <laughs> feat whatsoever. I mean, even even if you got sixth in this tournament, that's no small feat whatsoever. I mean, all all of you guys, congratulations for how far you come in this tournament. You guys played great. You gave us a great show today. It was awesome. I figured That's I was going to choke. I just figured I'd choke on the pathing at the end there. <laughs> you took a greedy roll at the end, right? It was seven v four. <laughs> <laughs> just in case. Up, yeah. But he was he was feeling confident at that point. He was like, "Yeah, I got this. I'm going you might for as well. four. I don't care. You might as well." Well, or... if 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 Saber could win a what was it ten v thirteen. Yeah. yeah, but I slow on like, <laughs> No, times. I know. You did it right, man. I think it was, absolutely did yeah, it right. what, 9v10? Something like that at the end? Still too close. I have a question yeah. for, for zombie. Zombies here. Did you, um, how did you feel when you noticed you were in the first position? Horrible. Yeah. Uh, every track <laughs> team I've played that I've gotten first, um, I haven't even had a chance. So at least with this game, um, there were some mistakes and there were some possibilities if I had just gotten one more turn uh, that I could have had an opportunity, um, which is exactly why you saw me go into like seven different positions. I knew the sets most likely wouldn't ever give me a chance to go for the win, so I was counting on somebody else to make a mistake, and that was my only path to victory. Yeah, I liked I liked how your one four was well guarded. That was the only other thing too, where I was like, well, maybe he trades early and then nobody eats him for his cards because he doesn't have enough. Yeah, and that's uh, the second thing that I did is I had had to trade, um, trade, trade, and trade early. Uh, I couldn't wait to go for five, uh, sit on five, and hope other people trade ahead of me. Because then I just absolutely die. You're right that I did have the two kill guards, but I didn't think that was enough because five cards would have been too valuable to not not yeah. go for it. Well, some of them, someone will get you too. Well, it's safe to say, zombie, that you made the most out of your situation. That's that's without a doubt. You yeah, I definitely. 
I I can agree with that. Mm -hmm. Especially with the uh, uh, the not the not good starting position compared to where everyone else was at, and just you know putting yourself in the getting getting yourself put in that position. You you did what you could, and that's uh, and sometimes all you can do in situations like this. Yeah, and also in a tournament like this, it's appreciating the experience too. So it's not mm -hmm. just uh, all about winning. It's that you got to get here and experience this out of a hundred and or a thousand and sixty-four people. So that's something to say all in itself. Is this your first grand finals, good sir? Uh, it's my first tournament ever, actually. Wow! Oh yeah, that, that, that's incredible, man. <laughs> well, for your first ever tournament, you did absolutely incredible. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. And I'd also like to piggyback on uh, what I think One Shot said is thank you to the staff and everybody who puts in a lot of time and effort. Um, I can't even imagine what goes on behind the scenes. So thank you to every event helper and the bull and everybody else who was a part of that. Just, just so you know, in like a week, week and a half, I'll be sitting on a beach, relaxing, sleeping, Ooh. and we won't have to worry about this for another seven weeks. Well, Lesson, Congratulations, yes. well deserved. Congratulations, there, Bull. Thank you, guys. I, I, I don't know, Bull. I think you should work harder. <laughs> okay, well, we do have stuff coming up. Pete, and, um, oh, baby. Uh oh. So uh, we also do have. Uh, I believe we haven't heard much from uh, Stay Facto. I think he's the last person that um, has uh, has not really uh, spoken as much as Stay Facto. Your uh, your tournament game. How'd you feel after your game that you played here today? I think I did the best I could considering, you know, five cards at that stage of the game. There's not really much you can do, but uh, mm -hmm. I think the other guys played well. Uh, it's unlucky with, you know, uh, Sabres, you know, passing there at the end. But, I mean, that's the game of risk, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You know, you go for it, and sometimes it pays off, sometimes it doesn't. But I, I think all these guys played really well. And uh, this is my first tournament as well, so uh, really enjoyed all the... Uh, all the rounds that I've had and all the people that have put effort into this, it's been uh, great. Well, we appreciate uh, all of you guys in this, uh, in, in this community. And uh, th this is by far one of the most fun times I think I've commentated uh, a tournament. I know for those of you guys that are in the Twitch stream, uh, my stream was going in and out for a bit. I apologize about that in advance, but either way, for those of you guys that got to watch it on Peach uh, YouTube as well, you know, thank you guys for the support that you've given all of us. You know, this has been a, an amazing tournament. We thank Bull for organizing this thing he needs a nice long deserved break after this one that's uh safe to say and, and there's definitely more to come that's yeah you know, without a question but thank you guys all of you guys watching you guys are what makes risk what makes it great the viewers here yeah. big shout out yeah. to all you guys that watch today yeah guys congratulations yeah. on making the finals congratulations to our new world champion general baines um i really think you guys all should absolutely think yourself as champions i do um, and just to echo escape, thank you, Bull, man, for all the hard work, um, and special thanks to all the staff, all the event helpers, support and mods on the Risk Discord, you guys who make it happen, who, um, help me be a part of this tournament I love competing in, I love being a part of it, um, and I love helping to promote this game that means so much to me and hopefully means so much to all of you guys as well, so thank you. Mm -hmm. Round of applause, everyone. Well done. Yep. And, and thank you, you uh, cast the final game. Keeping it exciting. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yep. And of course, I got to say it. I can't stop saying it. Thank you, as, as you said, Pete, to, you know, all the event helpers, all 15, 16 of you and Stonebridge, Mayor, and I mean, I could go on. There's, you know, 20 plus names, 25 plus names. So many people. I mean, it's not just me. You know, thank you to all of you and congrats, congrats you know. Let's do it all again soon. <laughs> <laughs> Not too soon, huh? <laughs> well, good. you know, about four or five weeks, and then we start going. There we go. All right, I'm all right, gonna uh, again, I'm gonna head off on YouTube Live. Escape. Are you gonna stay on Twitch? Uh, I might stay on Twitch for uh, for a little bit. Maybe I'll do uh, maybe I'll do a celebratory game here. Uh, well, would, folks, would anyone be interested in a celebratory game? You're more than if, welcome to join if I do one. If if anyone in my Twitch chat doesn't know. Um, this game was co-cast by Escape the Forzy. He's a friend of mine. There's the link. Go check him out on Twitch. Um, he is an excellent human being, and I'm a big fan. I'm going to end the show now. Thank you. Um, congratulations, competitors. Congratulations on our top three and our world champion.
I hope you guys all enjoyed the show. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.